guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new video for you. I wanted to discuss the spring summer 2018 trends that I feel I am absolutely loving and cannot wait for because currently it's still pretty cold. I am doing this video in collaboration with MacArthur Glen Designer Outlets, which if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my Instagram story updates yesterday. I was there working with them all day at the York Outlets and I will be going to the Cheshire Oaks outlet very, very soon, so I can't wait for that for a little shopping trip. I um, have previously worked with them before and been to Cheshire Oaks, done a vlog style video followed by a haul, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, then I'll link it down below for you to go head over and watch it. So the whole basis of what we were working around yesterday was their spring, summer 2018 trends, and they came up with key trends one of which I was working on, which was the safari trend, which I will touch on later. And then they also highlighted the fact that stripes were going to be a theme this year, as well as checked patterns and raw denim. If I keep looking down, I've got my notes here in front of me because I don't want to miss off any trends. So I am going to start with accessories and then move on to like style and fashion. So the first Thing that I have been noticing and I feel like everyone has been noticing has been the 90s inspired retro sunglasses. Now I love that style of um, like really chic minimal and less pattern but quite statement sunglasses either in the round design or the ones which are straight across. Personally I'm a big aviator lover so I will continue to wear aviators throughout this year but I have picked myself up a pair of Ray-Bans which have that kind of 90s inspired feel to them. So that is definitely one trend that I've been loving and trying to go out of my comfort zone with, but I do absolutely love. Second trend for accessories that I've been loving is layered gold necklaces. Now, this one is just from Primark. It actually comes as a set of three. The other places that I've noticed have been doing them are H&M, in fact, well, everywhere, pretty much. But um, I have spotted a few that I absolutely love on H&M and other stories and pretty little things so I'll leave links to some down below that I've been loving and also planning on getting my hands on too. Keeping with like the jewellery the third trend that I've been noticing are like layered rings in particular gold jewellery which I think when you're really tanned and bronzed with a bit of highlight I think that gold jewellery does suit like tan skin summer skin really really well so um, yeah, I've been loving like the layered jewellery. Now I just have a couple of rings on here, but I want to get my hands on some more of like the signet ring style rings from And Other Stories. If you don't already know, I absolutely love And Other Stories for their jewellery. I think their range is fantastic. It's very my style in terms of quite minimal, chic, elegant, timeless pieces that are just going to last you forever and never go out of date. So I do really recommend And Other Stories. If you're wanting something a bit more affordable but along the same lines, then H&M is also a good alternative. So moving on to the next trend that I've been loving, it is like a silk scarf that you can use, not necessarily silk, but along those lines, maybe satin or even just a nice cotton material. But basically a thin scarf that you can use in multiple ways. What I've been loving is like wearing it as like a bandeau top and tying it at the back or equally tying it around the front and then also just to change it up a bit and especially for when you're on holiday if like me you have a lot of hair and you like to wear it up and off your face when it's really hot then rather than just tying it up with a normal hair bubble I think using a silk scarf in your hair is really really pretty and while still getting the same effect of having it off your face so that is another trend that I've been loving okay so the next accessories trend that I absolutely love is now I don't really know how we call these but maybe like a seagrass basket or wicker basket or straw basket bag I'll obviously be inserting pictures as always just to give you an idea of some of the ones that I've spotted and absolutely love they very much remind me of that like Moroccan inspired um, interior that I love as well as fashion that I love I just love simple materials like earthy materials and obviously color wise you know I'm fairly neutral I like my basics and I like my neutrals and I feel like a bag like this is perfect for like the beach but equally you can have a smaller like crossbody bag to just carry around with you pop your camera in or for me 
it would be my vlogging camera, my phone and my purse done. And then moving on to shoes, one trend in particular that I think will be a big big hit this season are like the mule style shoes. So whether it be closed toe, open toe, sling back, there's just so many different ways that you can wear mule shoes and it just adds that different alternative to just like a regular flip flop sandal shoe which to be honest with you I pretty much only wear whenever I go abroad. In this kind of country the weather is just so unpredictable and I feel like flip flops sometimes are a bit inappropriate in the UK if it's not quite warm enough or if like for instance I go to watch Tom play cricket so on a really hot day there I might opt for a mule shoe as opposed to a flip flop so yeah I've been loving that trend and I can't wait to style it this season as always we'll leave some links down below of the ones that I've been loving in particular okay so moving on to style and fashion now some of the styles that we worked upon yesterday with MacArthur Glen Designer Outlets were safari checked stripes also colour block which if you know me you know that colour block was like a little bit out of my comfort zone but too much out of my comfort zone. I like the minimals, the neutrals, the whites, the beige, the nudes, that kind of thing in summer. So safari for a trend for me was perfect. So one trend in particular that we've kind of got at this time of year is like the cargo style pants. I know Miss Guy did Pretty Little Thing. I think it Pretty Little Thing are the ones that I really like, the high-waisted cargo style pants. Now I think that throughout spring summer when it gets a bit warmer these will be transitioned into like a high waisted short version. Very much safari cargo that kind of look but in a short as opposed to a long trouser. I think will be a great trend. I do have a couple from last year actually in black and khaki and they were both from H&M. They're really really affordable. If they're still available I'll link them below. If not I will link some alternatives for you to shop. I also just keeping on line with the nudes and beiges. I think monotone outfits, so all one colour, is definitely a key trend. Whether it be white, whether it be nude, whether it be khaki, if colour's your thing, whether it be a bright cobalt blue, bright pink, but wearing all the same colour I think is definitely um, a fantastic look to pull off and especially one that you can play around with in spring and summertime as well. Okay, so moving on to the next one, I have been loving, and I do think they're very flattering, like wide leg pants. I love these anyway, I've worn them for a long time, I've got some fantastic like tan brown ones from Pretty Little Thing that I love. If you saw my latest Primark haul, I picked up a couple of pairs and one pair in particular are like these striped culotte style like cropped wide leg pants. Love them so so much and so affordable. So I know I can't link to Primark items but I will link to my Primark video so you can see what I mean. Okay another trend that I am yet to kind of join is the wrap dresses. Now these were massive last year. I do really really like them quite a lot of them tend to be in like a bold colour like a red with like a white polka dot something like that but I have spotted a couple online on ASOS in particular that are either black polka dot or plain so I'll link them down below but I love that style I think it's very flattering to have that wrap over and how comfortable for like summer springtime when it's really warm so yeah wrap dresses are definitely a trend that I am seeing lots of another kind of style detail that I've been noticing are knots so when I was talking about the scarves earlier and knotting them in the middle or knotting them at the back or like two pieces where you have like a knotted top and then long pants or a skirt even like high-waisted pants with a knot detail at the front in fact one of the shirt dresses from Hobbs yesterday that I tried on had a gorgeous like knot detailing at the front as well it was like a shirt dress and alongside shirt dresses even just shirts instead of buttoning them up just tying them in a knot and like wearing them a little bit off the shoulder and popping a bit of highlight on the shoulders and collarbone I just think is such a good look. I kind of touched upon it earlier but another thing that I absolutely love are cohorts. One because I think they look fantastic. Two I think they like elongate you really well. It's kind of like wearing a dress or a long like jumpsuit but whilst you've got that pop of midriff on show I really really like. So I do definitely wear cohorts with something that is high waisted whether it be pants or whether it be skirts to have it high waisted and then a little bandeau top or not top or t-shirt but cropped I just absolutely love and there's so many different like colours and prints and patterns that you can play around with 
I personally love the all white look. It's quite bridal, but I quite like the like majestic feel of just an all white outfit, especially like I said, with an amazing tan. Okay, the next trend that was again massive last year that I think will continue on to this year is kind of what I'm wearing. It's like the bardo style top, so when it's off your shoulder, or similarly with a bandeau, so if you didn't want the sleeves and it's really hot, just to wear like a strapless top and have like the layered gold jewelry the highlight on your collarbone and shoulders this top in particular I think was from Zafool so if it's online I'll link it below but I have seen one online very very similar that I will leave linked below for you as well in fact I've got a high-waisted like beach skirt from Misguided which is white so I think this with that beach skirt could look really really pretty okay one that I have seen more recently that I personally kind of haven't invested in yet but definitely will be doing is the broderie anglaise shirts or dresses or basically that like crochet lace kind of like ruffled shoulder sleeve style shirt slash dress so I hope you understand what I mean by that obviously I'll insert pictures so you can see exactly what I'm talking about some of the ones that I've been loving I've seen in quite a few Primark hauls that girls have got their hands on a gorgeous shirt from Primark so I'm going to keep my eyes out for next time I head into Primark for that kind of style and that trend. I just think it's so feminine, so elegant, so chic and so pretty all whilst for me keeping within the white kind of tones and colour palettes. Okay and lastly the last kind of trend that I wanted to pick up on similarly with the retro 90s sunglasses I can't believe I am a 90s baby and I can't believe 90s trends is like coming back that's so bizarre to me but it makes me feel quite old but I do love that kind of retro print in terms of the stripe or the checked pattern so whether it be in a bikini or a little two-piece or a little bardo top and short set or a dress there's so many different ways you can wear this trend and I just love that like retro vibe I also would be tempted to keep my eyes out for a little bit of color here I feel like you could venture into like the lemons and the pastel kind of colors with this trend especially the checked print I'm imagining on a summer holiday wearing like a retro bikini or two-piece set cold set in like a very light lemon and white checked pattern I don't know I've got this vision I'm just imagining it you'll see by the pictures exactly what my brain is thinking right now that is definitely a big big trend this upcoming season and one that I cannot wait to try out myself so they are all the trends that I've been loving for this upcoming season I hope you got some inspiration some ideas yourself don't forget to shop the links below and as always all my social media links will be listed down below thank you so so much for watching this video give it a big thumbs up if you like more videos like this so thanks Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys! Well today I have a very exciting video for you. I, I feel like I always say that today I have a very exciting video in collaboration with MacArthur and I will say and I will say this collab so I wanted to bring to you my so I wanted to bring to you some so I wanted to bring to you the second the second trend for accessories, if you don't already know, I absolutely love under the uh, If you don't already, if you're wanting something a bit more, a foot, if you're wanting something in this kind of country climate, climate? In this kind of country, then in this kind of country, checked patterns and it was. Oh. So some of the ones that we worked upon were. Safari was the one that I chose for. Chose for? Little bandeau scarf top, like an off the shoulder tee. <clears throat> I do, I do really wrap it. Also, like, even like, and popping, and pop, and popping a bit. <clears throat> the trends that I've been loving, that they'll have to fight it out between. Oh, wait, I'm just rambling. Um, and as always, I will leave all the. As always, um, perhaps I could do an up. Oh, why am I rambling?